Hello everyone, we're back once again. Kingslayer Cards bringing you a fresh new deck profile. Today we have Heart of Lee bringing us the Nirvana deck that went undefeated at our recent team tournament. Let's begin. Alright guys, I'm gonna give you some spice with my favorite D format deck because Messiah is not in D format yet, but hey, who knows one day. So of course we use our favorite cute little guy here, Trickstar, DSR, you know, guy my favorite dude on the show. Uh, everything's pretty much like standard, basically the standard ride line, nothing crazy. Um after that we go to our grade ones. Actually, yeah, grade ones. Four perfect guards, cause you know, things swing out here really crazy and they be trying to kill everybody, but hey, gotta protect yourself. So four PGs for sure. Next is three of this guy. So a lot of people don't play this guy, but I actually prefer to. And the reason why is sometimes I open up with the grade fours in hand and I pitch the grade four unit. And I just keep this later on just to grab him back from the drop. And he's also a free card when you're on the grade four. So I'm saying, like, why not? And plus, it fills up a good slot for the deck. So I definitely suggest playing this guy or at least trying him out a few games to see how you feel about it. Our favorite grade one, this girl right here. So basically, she's a, um, a searcher. Um, usually, I do a lot of rush plays with her sometimes. Like, on, I'm on grade two. Sometimes if I get lucky, because this game is pretty lucky, so I'll play her down. Counter Blast, check top seven. Oh, wow, look at that. Now I have a grade two to ride also. Sometimes I go for the, a later grade two I play for some spice. I'm not going to mention right now because we're still on grade one, but definitely you should main deck this card because, you know, you need to search for your grade four units or any trick side that you need. I'm not bad. Any overdress unit that you need at that time. So I definitely suggest playing her maybe three to four, but I'm good at three right now. Um, just by my ratios of my deck and how I play. Let's see. Now for some spice, cause a lot of people don't play this guy and I don't know why. So I play four Urger and you're like, wow, he has Urger in his deck? What an idiot, but not. Nah. So Urger, basically I use him for the defense. Sometimes if I need to, I go for more rush plays. Like if I play against Bastion and against decks I can commit more to, I'll definitely go for the Urger play. Like I said, you can have the Trickstar down and hurt. You counter blast, whatever, use the counter blast, but then you have the Urger. You swing a low number, 13, whatever, that's fine. But then, hey, they don't know what you play. So sometimes you just say Urger and they're like, oh my God, that guy came out of nowhere. I wasn't prepared for it. I was like, yeah, a lot of people don't play Urger. So, hey, you wouldn't be prepared for it. Also, Later on to your grade four turn, of course, the ability to do the extra swing is out, but definitely still um, a 15K shield on the field. And I believe right now for this deck to thrive, it's more of a grindy type deck. So you have to make the games go longer. Like playing against decks like Bruce or Bastion, you need defense. So focus on more so with this deck, in my opinion, for defense. Next, the best grade two, Pot of Greed. So basically, you know, it's pretty much standard ride on counter blast one, draw two. My least favorite grade two, but we got to play him just so we can plus a little bit and get our dude from the drop. This guy right here. All right. So this guy, uh, I'm always 50 50 about him, but you know, he comes in handy sometimes. He always puts pressure. Some people are too greedy. I believe some people. They use his skill to gain the 15K in the crit too much when he can just high key, just be a big beater on the board. Like I said, against decks that don't really generate hand or um, have great defense, this guy, they're scared of him. They're like, oh my God, this guy's on the board. What can I do? And I'm like, you can't really do anything because now I'm about to swing at you maybe 63 to 78 with a crit. And you're like, wow, look at that. Next are my babies. So this is my new favorite unit. A new ride, whatever, the grade four ride. Definitely play this at four because you need to see it and you need to use the skill. The thing about these guys, I it kind of sucks. You know, I'm um, an old timer player, like, you know, from G format and all that from striding. But hey, 
It is what it is. You got to ride this guy, play four in the deck. You need to see him. You can also play the searchers. I don't play them in the deck, but that is an option. Um, basically, the thing with this, though, don't always get too greedy. I know sometimes your opponent may not even be in range. I would only use the skill to damage your opponent when they're at four. I don't, or even to say like they're at three is kind of pushing it. But if you feel like you can put them more up in numbers on damage, then yeah. But don't get too greedy with this card for sure. Next, I only play two of this guy. Why do I only play two? Because I play the gray one that grabs one from drop. But this card is something we needed. But hey, I'm glad we got it because we need more multi-attack because we don't really use Urger in the late game because we can't. But this guy at two for me, basically, I play the gray one that can recycle him. So I only need it at two and I have the grade one searcher. If you want to play more, that's perfectly fine. The reason why I might bump him up more is for the prison match. So when I play against prison, they may put a card from my hand to the prison. I put this guy. And then I might be on like grade two. And then I call him from the prison. Bam, look at that. Now I have an extra attack on board. So whatever. You get multi-attacks early against prison. Also, certain decks, you have to be more preservative when you have cards like this because... He's still 13 on your opponent's turn. He's not like the other cards where they gain power on your turn and your opponent's turn. So be careful when you're playing this and be mindful and survey the board. I only play this card when it's a kill turn. Other than that, I'm trying to gain advantage basically because I like to grind out my opponent. I only play three trick star. Why? Because I think four right now is not necessary. You don't need to really have too many trick stars in rotation and sometimes it comes a brick in your hand like i like to make use of cards in my hand you already have two in rotation because i play this as my starter and then you know the other one is just in deck just waiting to be drawn so two is a good number for me well three actually but two in the deck now of course gotta play this because it's the most busted card in the game why best not best card in the game best card in the game <laughs> um all right so this over trigger a lot of people debate about um, what's the best one. So the most sneakiest over trigger for sure is the Brant Gate one. Because, you know, if you don't guard it, they can stack their crits and all that. But this one, you gain advantage. It's either going to draw or you're going to draw. But when you hit this on your grade three turns, it's just extra cards in hand. Your grade four turns, extra cards in hand. Like triple driving twice is ridiculous. But I will say the Keter one is also very good as well. But... I prefer this one to say that this is one of the best ones. Trigger lineup, three draws, pretty standard. I played it through the draws over the fronts because you need to see your pieces. 10K shield is okay, but just getting to your pieces is what you need in this deck. Four of these crits. So these crits are very crucial. So sometimes you run out of soul playing in certain decks like prison to eat your soul, or maybe you overuse your soul yourself. When you boost with this guy, he goes into the soul. So definitely play this. This is also a good tech to have for the grade four. But I definitely mandatory to play this at four. Four of these beauties. And last but not least, four of these beauties right here. So didn't want to take too much of your guys' time. But that is my deck profile. Thank you for watching.